Hey guys, it's me, Brittany. Kind of the awkward setup, but I wanted to show you guys some spring, summer home items I've been collecting when I was in North Carolina and then here in Florida. Now, I'm worried I might be forgetting something because I did really invest this year in some new home decor pieces. So if there's anything that I find, um, I will add it into my beauty and fashion video that will be coming up really soon because I do have some new spring summer fashion pieces i took on the cruise and then some beauty items i went on ahead and grabbed up as well so as always description box below has all of the details of where you can find these items some are affiliate links some might just be regular links it depends on the website the product and if i could create an affiliate link or not anywho let's go on ahead and dive in and i'm going to show you my first and most favorite item that i grabbed up when i was in north carolina you guys, look at this lamp. It is literally my dream come true. I was tempted to grab a second one to be like little nightstand lamps, but I decided to just get one. It's gonna be in the living room, right in the entryway. It's a good lamp at nighttime because I don't like having the big light on in the living room and having something like this. It's a warm enough glow that lights up the space, but the look of it is just incredible. As you can see the detail of the actual vase itself. They did have two options. They have one that didn't have a cord, but I did do the cord option. It was a little bit less in price and you just add your own bulb. The lampshade is this really pretty, like it's kind of like a taupey greenish gray color. It's just exactly my style. So very happy with this one it was around 50 dollars well worth it in my opinion and it does come with a warranty so if anything ever goes wrong you could definitely get it replaced this will definitely be linked below if they still have it in stock I now something on the more random end is these faux plants this is actually um real eucalyptus it's dried eucalyptus i'm gonna try to do some sort of like home diy thing with the faux hydrangeas and the eucalyptus but i did grab this up it's really nice whenever you can find uh dried plants dried herbs at a really good price point these were 12.99 and they were normally 24 so i feel like that's a really good deal and um they're this beautiful color like this beautiful purpley color so i really like the tone of them now with the faux hydrangeas i got two little bundles and these are from hobby lobby they were 50 percent off um, I will have these linked below, uh, definitely not an affiliate link, by the way, I'll go on ahead and say this one will definitely not be an affiliate link. I might even look on Hobby Lobby's website and see if I could link that dried eucalyptus. I did not get those at Hobby Lobby, the dried eucalyptus, but I will try to link it up because I know they have a lot of good dried plants, but these hydrangeas, they look so real. The petals are really nice. I'm also going to have some Amazon linked up because there is a Amazon uh, seller that has really good uh, faux hydrangeas. You could get them in a lot more color options. And um, they're already pre-cut. They're not on this big bushel like this. It's just the individual stems. Here is the wreath. I am debating about not putting it on my front door though because I'm really worried it's going to get damaged. Uh, with the Florida heat and the salt water that's in the air. It's just like our air is a little bit more gritty, a little bit more humid, but this is just a really beautiful wreath. Can you believe this was only $15? Like TJ Maxx home goods. I, I was blown away because a wreath like this at Michael's or at Hobby Lobby could be anywhere between like 50 to 70, even $80. And it is like a actual wreath uh, with the like, Hoop and everything so I'm really impressed with this it's really pretty as you can see the details if I hang it on my front door I'm gonna be careful with it but I could hang it inside at the foyer or over the fireplace and I think that would be really pretty as well but as you can see it is the white hydrangea aesthetic that I was going for um, and then all this little bits of green I think it's really pretty so I am a big fan of this and glad that I was able to grab this up quickly so here are some home items I cannot link up because a family member made these. She sells um, up in North Carolina, like craft shows from time to time. If you are interested in anything like this, you could definitely find stuff similar on Etsy, but it's some little resin pieces that she made. And she knows that my favorite color is sage green. So she had this little vase and it is so stinking cute. It's really little and small. So she gave me this and I'm impressed with it. And then she had this little coaster set that is so botanical. Like, look, there's a four leaf clover she put in there. 
and it's just these like little dried plants that she put inside of it and some of them are faux but some of them she said she actually picked in her yard and just um there's another four leaf clover and she put it inside the resin so I'm really impressed with them they're very very cute perfect little coasters and they go with the theme of the colors that I'm wanting in my house so I was really happy with that this last thing, it's a pot rest, but she said to not put hot pots on it because it's resin and it'll melt. Um, I'm actually using it for a candle to sit on. So let me grab a candle and show you what it would look like with this underneath it. Here we go with it being a candle rest. I just think it would look really pretty with the little bits of details on the side and then the candle, you can have it lit up. Uh, of course, when the candle gets near the end, you may not want the heat of it, but in the beginning when a candle is fresh, and new, it won't get that hot where it will melt the resin, but this candle is brand new as well. It is um, white magnolia and sage. It smells so calming and so luxe. I'm really impressed with that. I probably should have grabbed that more because this was a really good deal. This was like $12 for this giant three wick candle and it is huge. It is 26 ounces. So it's a very big size candle. I have a few more. I'll go ahead and grab those up and show you guys. Like I said, this is a huge haul. Um, I went at it this year, but like I said, a lot of these pieces were deeply on sale. They were not full price and it's stuff that I've already been needing in the house. And now I won't have to purchase any throughout the summer because I have all these pieces that I can incorporate in the home and then just switch up things sitting around the house and make it a little bit different. But let me grab the other candles. But here is the other candles. We have woo, four more. We have two of the same ones. It was um, a TJ Maxx find, $7.99. It is the Sand and Fog collection and it's in the scent Montecito, which is really, really nice. This one I've been burning already. So you can see I've already went into it a little bit, but it's a nice like warm floral type scent. Not too overpowering, perfect for in my kitchen living room combo because it's not too overwhelming and it's not like a food smelling candle. This one is eucalyptus and lavender. I love the top of it. This was also like six or $7.99. And then I have one more that is very eucalyptus-like. It is called Calming. It is infused with eucalyptus and peppermint and all these essential oils. It's a vegan soy wax blend. Ta-da, it's an amazing candle. Perfect for a bathroom, honestly, because of the eucalyptus. So. Some more home items, of course, a spoon rest. This one has a bit of a floral design and it was only like two or three dollars. So it was a really good deal. I was really hoping I could have found it with like a green tone, but the blue is pretty. So I'll make it work in my kitchen. Then I found these gorgeous plates. These were such a good deal. So they're made in England. It is the uh, Botanic Garden Collection. I had no idea how expensive these were until I went on eBay and I done a Google search of the artisan and these are really expensive. So I have two. I need to grab up two more because I want these to sit on my dining room table underneath one of the woven mats just as a decorative piece. Um, my dad saw them and he's like, why don't you hang them up on the wall? And that's another great option for dishes like this, these decorative pieces. You can hang them on the wall and use them as display. Then I found this really big one that is just a little bit bigger, but it's still from the same collection and it is beautiful as well. So maybe this one I will display on the bookshelves in the living room on like a little rest. And then if I could get two more of these, I'll have them as decorative pieces at the table. But I'm a really big fan of these. This one in particular has this gorgeous moth on it. This is a fantastic moment to mention if you are not following me on my other social media handles or here on YouTube, go on ahead, hit a like, get a subscribe. Also hop over to my Instagram. That's where I am posting things often. In fact, I just went on a cruise to the Caribbean and I have lots of content over there. I'm gonna be upping my blog again and getting that back rolling and I will have a ton of details of some of the private beach clubs that we went to, some of the other excursions you could get into, as well as just the overall experience. I'll also showcase how I am decorating my home, some of the DIY projects I'm doing, gardening, and more. So while you're at it and you're already grabbing these links to go shopping for some of these beautiful home decor pieces, don't forget to follow me over on my socials and go on ahead and save my blog handle over on your search bar so you could be able to access all these new blog posts that I have coming up real soon. So the next thing I grabbed up 
was a lot of new towels. Something that I like to use is hand towels. I like to use them as decorative pieces. I use them throughout the house. And I try to use the same like four or five towels. And whenever they go out, whenever they're just all worn out as can be, I then invest in new ones. So these are all my new ones. The ones that's already in the kitchen right now are starting to look a little bit ragged and rough. So I will be repurposing them the best way possible or donating them or just recycling the fabric so it could be reused somehow. And these are the new ones. So I have a wildflower one and then it has this really pretty pattern one right here. I think this is a really cute set. Then <laughs> lemons. I have kind of fallen into the trap of lemons. I'm gonna show you a lemon uh, picture in a second. I, I'm not wanting to do like a whole lemon room. I'm not like some 1990s, early 2000s mom wanting a kitchen that's all one theme, but I do like lemons and I think this is a really cute hand towel. Something I do enjoy with these hand towels is sometimes I will grab them and hang them as a decorative towel in a bathroom. So this would be really cute for that purpose. And then I have another wildflower one. This one has little ladybugs on it and bumblebees, which is so darling. The Momo's hanging out with us officially. And here is that lemon print. It is very pretty. It reminds me of a print that um, one of my favorite YouTubers in the fro has in her kitchen. But I think hers is oranges or mandarins. But I uh, saw this lemon one and they had another one that kind of complemented it, but I didn't want to grab both of them because I wasn't sure if I wanted these to be in the kitchen. I think I might actually display this more in the hallway going into the living room because it is very pretty. It is very welcoming and bright and fun and you can hang it like whichever way suits you. But I like it this way personally, but this is what it looks like. Sorry, there's a little bit of a glare. I'm having to film in front of a window, but you can see it. It's very pretty. If you're wanting to shop really affordable, my links, I'll try to link that exact picture, but if I can't, I'll link something very, very similar. I will say I got it at Home Goods. So we are about to be at the end of this little haul, but there is a few more pieces. This next thing is such a good deal. I got this at Aldi's, like the grocery store Aldi's. It is this little like plug in wax melt and you can plug it into any type of wall outlet. You can even turn it and do it the other way, depending on how your wall outlets are. Um, less than $4 for this little guy right here. They had three color options. I really liked this like creamy color ceramic and I have right now the eucalyptus scent. I put this in my living room and it literally fragrants like the whole living room and kitchen, but I have a ton of the little wax melts because like I said, they're at Aldi. So the wax melt was 98 cents at my store, which is crazy because they used to be, I think a dollar 98. So they were a dollar off, which is a really good deal. So I grabbed up a lot. I grabbed up a ton of the eucalyptus ones. I saw this one at a different Aldi's. Now this one was full price. It was a dollar 98. I think it was one of the newer scents, but it is gardenia and basil. Then I found for the discounted price, the white almond ones. So I grabbed up a few of those. Here is some more of the eucalyptus ones, another almond one, and then the garden rain. I found this marked down at an Aldi's. So I grabbed up two of those. So this is two, four, six, eight, 10, which is, I know it's a lot, but these things don't really go bad. You could just put them in a cool dry place and just grab them out. I put uh, two wax cubes into this at a time. And I feel like after two or three days, you need to add at least one or two more cubes because over time it does kind of melt away. Then when I was at Hobby Lobby, they also have wax melts. Um, I grabbed a couple of them because they were 50% off. They're normally $2.99 and they were half off. So I grabbed a few scents. I'm not really sure if I like them though, because I haven't really like took the time to smell them too much, but I liked the um, description of them. So this one is calm. So it is like lavender and sandalwood. This one is, um, it's just called a wickless fragrance, pine needle, cedarwood, and eucalyptus, which is on board with what I like. Then I have this one that is water lily and rich cashmere, which is also something I really enjoy. So I feel like I like all of these. And then there's this little topper for this guy. So you can do it like this and have the fragrance come out that way, or you could just leave it wide open. I would recommend doing it this way if it's gonna be somewhere where people are walking by or small children or animals. But if it's somewhere that's up high enough where no one's touching it, you could do it this way. 
It also has, of course, the light in there to warm it up, which is a really good night light, but I would not leave this on all night personally. Just leave it on whenever you are cooking or throughout the house. And then just remember to turn it off at the end of the day. And then there is also this dish. This was $9.99, really good deal. It says it's made in Italy, it's dishwasher safe, it's microwave safe. I would not put this in the microwave though because I personally don't think it'll fit in my microwave. But uh, it with that lemon theme, like I said, I'm not gonna go all out with lemons, but I did really like this plate in general and I think it would be nice to display something or at a dinner party to have some appetizers on. So I did grab this up because it is very unique and spring summer like so before i show you guys the final item unless there's some more if there is some more items you will find it in the fashion and beauty video because that's when i will actually go through my suitcases for my cruise grab up all those fashion pieces i grabbed up and some of those beauty items and that's when i'll be moving around where i can find any other things that i may have left behind but i think this is everything so before i show you this final thing don't forget to like and subscribe, of course. There is all the other social handles linked below, along with links to the exact items I shown you guys, similar items, or just the stores that I purchased them from. If you want something similar, you wanna go out there and explore it yourself. Now the last item, I will try to link up the exact thing if I can't find it. Something very, very similar, but this is so stunning. So the Home Goods in North Carolina had this section that was all items from Italy. And I I can't believe how nice this stuff was. Um, and maybe I am really gravitating towards that more like rustic farmhouse Italian aesthetic. But this in particular, uh, with the dried eucalyptus leaves, I think this will be so pretty together. It is this gorgeous, gorgeous jug. Like, look how stunning that is. And, um, like, it has some weight to it. It's not, like, some, like, really cheaply made thing. It is very, very nice. It has on the bottom um, where it was from, who made it. And then, of course, it has this gorgeous tag on it. So, it's this collection. If you go into Home Goods and you see this collection, it's the World Traveler one. All of this stuff is so nice. I don't know who their vendor is that is scouting for these items, but everything with this tag on it, I was like in love with. In fact, I think this portrait was one of them as well. So it's just one of those things, one of those collections that I feel like Home Goods is doing it right with. And uh, yeah, I grabbed this up. I kid you not, I think this was like nine or $10. It was very affordable, but that is like the price they were selling it at Home Goods. Then it said the compared price, so it was a little bit more, but I really like it. It has a like a rough grit to it, so it's not like a smooth, it doesn't have like a, a glossy finish on it. It is very rough and raw looking, but it's very pretty if you want this aesthetic in your home, which I am really into, more that natural look, and this is just perfect. So very happy with this. All the details are in the description box below. And I should see you guys again soon. Bye.